Hi guys, welcome to a new sit down video. I am in my usual spot. Today I am going to talk to you about fall pieces, which I'm so excited about. It's always the time of the year where I I love to shop for new pieces and look at my wardrobe and look at what I'm missing and go to the store and see all the fall collection. I always get so inspired around that time of the year, so I thought I would film a video for you with all of the new pieces that I have collected so far. I've been quite obviously responsible with my purchases and really bringing into my wardrobe pieces that I felt like I was really needing. There is a couple of gifted pieces throughout, which I will mention, obviously. But yeah, let's get started and talk about fall fashion. I hope this video gives you a little bit of inspiration for things that you've been looking for or things that you had on your wish list for a while. I've kind of looked through most of the popular websites. I've also been to some of my favorite store to look at everything that they had so far. We are still early in the season. It's the first uh, week of September. So obviously there's a lot that is still going to come, but I like to go early and get the first pick of um, the first drops of everything because I feel like that's usually the best stuff. So I will try to link everything in the description box as per usual. If some things are sold out, I'm gonna try to find some similar items because I think there's a couple pieces that are already sold out because when I went to buy different colorways, um, it was already out of stock. So I will try my best. So if you see anything that you like, look at the description box and everything will be linked over there. So let's start with what I'm wearing right now. I think that polos are making a huge comeback and this kind of preppy style is very on trend right now. I didn't own any polo until I got this one and I also got it in another colorway which I'm gonna show you right now. This one is from Aritzia and it's 100% cashmere and it's so soft. It's got really nice details at the sleeves like this and the color sits really nice and flat. It's got three, one, two, three, <laughs> three buttons down the front and it's just a regular length. I'm also going to do some cutaways with the different outfits that you can um, make with all these pieces, maybe one or two outfits per item to give you an idea of how to style it, how to wear it. So after I finish talking about each pieces, I'm just gonna switch over to a cutaway of me trying on the pieces. So today I'm wearing this little um, knit polo with a high-waisted skirt from Kos, which I'm gonna probably film after in a cutaway. But I really, really like this knit. It's so easy. It's it would look really good with like leather pants or even jeans. It's just an easy style to have in your wardrobe. It's a good staple. It would also look really nice under a little dress, like a jumper dress, I think. And then I got it in another colorway which I thought would look really really cute as well. I got it in this camel color. It's unbuttoned right now and it still has the tag but yeah I thought originally I got that one because this one was sold out and then somehow it came back in stock so I purchased the cream one as well. I think these are two very staple color that will look good with everything. Everything that I have here is all in neutral colors. I feel like this is the kind of palette I like to wear the most in the fall. I like to wear like warm tones and blacks and gray and I think it looks really chic so don't be surprised if you think there's no color in here. I feel like I love to dress really classic at that time of the year so that's why. And yeah, this one is in a size medium just because I went with the sizes that were available. Usually I would have gone for a small but this is in a size medium and it fits quite well actually and this one is in a size large just to give you an idea. Aritzia does run really small so I would say you can size up easily one or two sizes because I like it to fit quite a bit loose but you can see at the shoulders it's not that oversized so it fits quite, um, the brand fits quite small so if you like Aritzia and you've never shopped there before just keep that in mind before you buy anything. So this is a size large as you can see it's not that big on me and I would usually go for an extra small or a small. So this is a size medium and actually I think 
they fit both really well. I'm not too fussy about sizing when it comes to my knitwear, so um, I didn't mind, but maybe just for a reference, um, maybe size up one or two sizes if you want to get this kind of looser fit. So knit polo, I'm very excited about these. They're also so soft. I love cashmere and I love luxury fibers for that time of the year. It's so cozy and so soft, so yeah. First item. Here is my first look with the little cashmere sweater. Very simple. I'm just wearing this cos. Let me boost up the exposure for you. A little cos mini skirt with one pocket at the front. It's very minimal. It's got another pocket here. I love how like asymmetrical it is i've had it shortened so that it's a true mini skirt on me i'm also wearing my prada creepers with just some basic um black socks but i think with knee high socks when it gets a little colder would equally look really nice here is the camel color of the cashmere polo top i've just paired it with an Aritzia pleated skirt and these frankie shop boots again such a simple outfit three pieces but so efficient it looks really chic very well put together and really kind of my kind of outfit i do like a little collar i think it looks very flattering on on me because i don't have a big chest so i find that these little button collar look really good on my particular body type and then a mini skirt to make my legs look longer and make me look taller than i am next up i think i'm gonna stay within knitwear so that it all makes sense i got two very big oversized cardigan let me button that one so that it looks nicer in the video I got them both from the men's department at COS. Uh, for full disclosure, I got a gift card to shop at COS and I got these two pieces with my gift card, so they were technically gifted. The first piece is this oversized black cardigan in a very um, tight cotton knit. I rolled the sleeve because this is a men's size small. I do love how this fits. It has like, um, it buttons all the way to the neck and then it has no pocket. It is super minimal. It's hard to see because it's black, but hopefully you'll see better in the cutaways. I, I do love an oversized cardigan for fall and I didn't have any in my closet somehow. I used to have some that I bought vintage like in wool and, and things like that but I sold them um, throughout the years so I found myself with no cardigan in my closet and I thought you know what they're so easy to throw on when you have like a t-shirt and especially at that time of the year the weather is very changing from one day to another one day it can be really warm and then it gets really chilly once you're in the shade and all that so it's nice to carry a cardigan around and just throw it on whatever you have that day so i love these pieces because they're so versatile and this cardigan i thought was a good staple to have in my wardrobe it fits really oversized it's a little bit longer and it looks great with like a mini skirt and uh, a t-shirt and it just gives a little bit more layers to a simple outfit so cos cardigan here is my outfit with the cos um cardigan as you can see i've only buttoned one button at the top because it kind of goes in here like that at an angle and i think it looks really nice with just one button like this i'm wearing an arquette tank top underneath and the same cos skirt that I wore for the first outfit. Again, very simple outfit. I want to kind of show you how you can mix and match those pieces to create a little capsule fall wardrobe. Hopefully this is helpful and I'm still wearing the Prada creepers. I just like how big the cardigan is and I like that it 
almost matches the hem of the skirt. I think it looks really cute like this. Let me unbutton it to show you how it fits. It looks cute unbuttoned too and it makes it a little bit longer if you're not into the kind of um, tight collar and I think a cardigan and a little skirt like this. I'm sorry if the light is changing. The sun is in and out in this bedroom, but yeah Oversized cardigan from Kos is a big win for me From Kos, I also got this very oversized hoodie so it has a hood like this it has um well it has seams but you can't really see them like the seam is here so it's very minimalistic it's got really nice details at the wrist like this it's got the same detail at the hem at the bottom and it's just very plain very simple long oversized hoodie this one i also got from the men's section it's in a recycled wool which i thought was really nice from cos and i picked up a size medium this one has um like an indication that it fits oversize on the label so it's already meant to fit oversize for men so i thought this worn as a dress with boots would look amazing so that's how i'm going to try it for you in the cutaways i'm also going to try it with a mini skirt because i feel like when you tuck the front it looks really nice and baggy and oversized I do love these big, big knits for fall. I think that they're so stylish and paired with like a really nice handbag with like gold hardware or silver hardware, it really looks effortless and chic and it's just very cozy. So you get all of the good points covered, style and comfort. And yeah, I thought when I saw this, I thought, you know what, I'd never go for hoodies because I think they make me look too young like a, a little girl or a little kid but when i saw that one i thought it's quite minimal and i love the texture of it i don't have anything gray in my closet really so i tried it on and i fell in love and sometimes it's just good to go to the men's section especially from knits especially for knitwear if you like oversized i feel like the men's department just always have the best knits so maybe take a look there um, when you're at cost especially a brand like cost it is quite unisex in everything that they do so don't be afraid to shop in the men's section uh, for a change here is the cos hoodie as you can see i'm wearing it as a dress with these frankie shop lock sole boots i think it looks really really cool i love that the sleeves are really long this is a size medium so obviously you could go for a size large and then you would gain probably half an inch to an inch in length and as you can see the hood is very minimal and yeah i really really like this look if you're not comfortable with the length of this and having it kind of open and you know feeling a little bit exposed i've got another option for you with a skirt which i'm just gonna try right now here is the cos oversized hoodie that i'm wearing with an aritzia pleated skirt and these frankie shop luxol knee high boots which i really like i do like this combination i've just tucked in the hoodie into the skirt and i think it looks really nice i like the kind of really casualness of the sweater with a little preppy moment with the skirt i think it's a nice contrast and i love that the sleeve as you can see are super long but you can roll them up i love the hoodie something new for me i think it's very cozy i've only worn hoodies like inside but i do like the option of having a little hood i think it's quite cute and yeah overall this is pure comfort pure oversized <laughs> sweater i'm really in love with it i think it's exactly what i need in my fall wardrobe at the moment next up i think this is my last piece of knitwear i got a cardigan from aritzia an oversized cardigan again it, they're all unbuttoned i'm very unprepared for this video unfortunately um, so let me just button that one so you see properly. If you watch my vlog a couple of 
um, weeks ago, I think two weeks ago, I went to Aritzia to shop um, for their store opening at Shareway Gardens and they kindly gifted me a gift card so that I could shop. I bought this polo with a gift card, I bought this with the gift card and then a pair of pants and then this one I got with my own money after because I love that one so much that I was like let me go on the website and try to get as many colors as I can but anyways I got this beautiful oversized cardigan it has two pockets at the front and a couple of buttons it's a v-neck so it's really nice when you want to layer like a turtleneck underneath or just a t-shirt for this early time of the year i love to roll the sleeve i think it looks really really nice and baggy i got this one in the size large because i like to have it really oversized and slouchy it also looks nice like if you want to have a drop shoulder moment if you like to take photos or anything like that it is super cozy super soft i love the material of this it is a blend i think it has very little cashmere and wool in it so it's mostly synthetic but for pieces like this because i don't wear them directly on my skin and i layer them with other pieces underneath i don't mind as much i do love that the cost one is cotton and it has a really really good weight to it um but for this one it's more of a style piece and more of a like a cozy throw on piece so i didn't mind too much that it was mostly synthetic but i did want to mention it in case you like to wear only wools and cashmere and natural fibers maybe this is something you won't really love but for those of you who are like me and don't really mind when it comes to cardigans and jackets maybe this one is for you so little cardigan from aritzia wearing the aritzia oversized cardigan with the same arquette tank top underneath because this is how i've been wearing it so far but equally it would look really nice with the turtleneck underneath and then i'm wearing it with the aritzia pleather trousers and some old chelsea cost boots because i like the all black um bottom half of this outfit and i think it looks quite smart and minimal i really like this combination i think it looks really really nice with denim as well but as you can see in a size large, this cardigan is quite slouchy, very roomy, cozy, comfortable, and let me show it to you um, undone. Here it is, um, like I said, over the shoulder like this. At the moment, it's quite still warm outside, so if it gets sunny and warm, you can just kind of play with it and make it a little bit more trendy, a little bit more um, interesting this way. I think big cardigans are just my most favorite item for fall at the moment. Then I am going to move on to leather and vegan leather. Now I know there are a lot of different preferences in terms of leather or vegan leather, um, but I like to wear both. Um, I always prioritize leather uh, in vintage and thrift pieces just because it is more sustainable. Um, but also equally vegan leather isn't 100% sustainable, right? It's made out of plastic. So whatever your preference is, I've got both options for you. And yeah, let's talk about the leather pieces. I've got a few to show you actually. So the first one I am going to talk about is these pants from Aritzia. Everything I've worn already, so everything is like a bit messy, but Okay, so these are the Aritzia Melina pants in a crop length. So I am around 5 feet, 5 feet 1, so keep that in mind. I got a size, um, which, 0 with a crop length because um, it sits just above my ankle. So you can see the socks and it looks really good with, let's say some loafers and things like that. And also equally looks good with boots because they're not too tight around the ankle. And these pants are just really, really great fit. I think they're one of their most popular pants. Actually, they got them in all different lengths, all different sizes and colors. So these are very, very great staple. 
Um, I do love the finish of the vegan leather. I think it has a nice shine to it. I got this style because I didn't really have a pair of fitted leather or vegan leather pants and I think with an oversized cardigan like this, a kind of more fitted pants is really flattering especially with boots so I thought I was missing those in my wardrobe. They are high-waisted on the waist so they are super flattering and I thought this is a great staple to add to my wardrobe. So if you're looking to buy a vegan pair of pants I would highly recommend these. They're just your perfect classic sort of on a more affordable side um, vegan leather pants that look like leather so really really good quality and yeah great piece here are the aritzia melina pants with an old aritzia crop cardigan i kind of like the um, hem like this with the high waisted pants i kept my cost boots but i think it would look really nice too with like my prada creepers or any kind of black shoe as you can see the length is pretty crop and the waist is nice and high they fit super flattering everywhere and they're very comfortable i do like that you can kind of see a little bit of skin sometimes i think it makes it look quite cool and for when it's a little bit colder outside i would just throw a big oversized black coat on top of everything i really really like those pants they kind of have a vintage feel to them too with the cut and yeah super flattering super comfortable i feel like they're going to be really warm for colder days as well so here's this all black look moving on i have a pair of thrifted leather pants which i've never shown you i think i mentioned that i got these a couple of vlogs ago and I never ended up showing you them because I had to alter them at the waist as you can see there's two lines here is where I got them um, taken in at the waist because they were a little bit too uh, big for me my memory card was full so let's pick up where we left off <laughs> um, I got these pants from a local thrift store in Kensington Market if you are from Toronto um, these ones are from, oh I realize I just lost the, the tag because they've got taken in, but these ones are from Banana Republic. Remember when Banana Republic and all these high street stores were doing leather back in, I'd say like late 90s, beginning of 2000 and the leather was just amazing quality because everybody was trying to be better than the next brand. So I think if you're looking to thrift a pair of leather pants maybe look into those high street uh, brands um, for a good quality and a good price also I got these for they were quite expensive though if they were 80 90 dollars at a thrift store but you know leather is is always a little bit more pricey and these fit like a dream so I try them and they were quite big actually I think they're a size zero um, but they fitted quite big at the waist and a little bit at the leg but I thought I'm going to be able to take them in and have them altered to fit me perfectly and I did. It was quite costly but because they were such a staple and such a good style I was willing to you know invest the money and have them fitted perfectly to my body. I love the style of them too. They don't have any pockets at the front and they don't have pockets at the back either and they have this really nice line at the knee that i really like the seam as you can see is kind of twisting and goes behind the knee here which i find very flattering and they've got a nice slit at the ankle so these are just a little gem i find i love those and i love the fact that they are thrifted and they're not you know nobody's gonna have the same pair and they're just this really nice quality thick leather they're fully lined as well and yeah that's gonna be hard to link i'm gonna look on ebay if i can find similar pairs but yeah if you're looking to thrift some leather pens just keep in mind it can take years to find a pair that you like i've been looking for a pair of pens for years and when i saw that one i thought it needs a little bit of work but i can uh, work with that one so if you find one that's 
close to fitting you um, just grab it and take it because I find that leather pants is such a hard fit they can easily not fit you and with women like we have such different curves at different places and it's just hard to find perfect fit so if you're looking for a pair of thrifted leather pants um, your day is coming of when you're gonna find your pair because I I um, I did find mine and I'm really really happy now that I put all of the effort and it finally paid off here are the thrifted leather pants which I am wearing with my Frankie shop boots just tucked um, underneath the pants and I'm also wearing them with this cos oversized knit because I think it looks really cool like that I really like the oversized knit with the kind of bottom half that's all leather um, as you can see these are a very minimal fit with no pockets very flattering over the bum area and kind of like very fitted but not claustrophobic obviously this is real leather so it is breathable and it is a little bit more comfortable than vegan leather but yeah overall I think this is a very cool kind of everyday running errand but wanting to look well put together kind of outfit I'm sorry if I'm so out of breath it's quite hot in here and I'm trying to put on all these leather pants and taking off the skirt and trying on all these outfits that I'm a little bit um, it's like an exercise <laughs> let's just put it like this and then last but not least I am so excited about this item if you watch my last vlog I talked about this piece a little bit and gave it a little bit of context but long story short I saw this piece a couple of years ago and I wasn't in the right mindset to invest in a piece like that it was quite pricey and at the time I was working really hard and saving all my money um, to buy pieces that were very essential to my wardrobe and since this is a scarf I thought it's a little bit too much just for a scarf but you know when a piece just lingers in your head and you keep thinking about it this one is like that and I thought if I find it again I am going to invest in it now that I'm ready but obviously when an item is sold out then you kind of take a chance that you won't be able to find it again but the other day we went to the outlet in Toronto and we went to the Burberry outlet and magically the piece was there <laughs> right when I entered the store and I couldn't believe it and I thought it's at the outlet it is 50% off there is no chance I'm not getting it and it was one of those perfect moments where you find exactly what you've been looking for and wishing for so it might not be to all of you guys' taste but for me it's such a cool piece that will upgrade all of my very neutral fall outfits especially neutral coat and like a black coat a camel coat I think it's gonna be such a nice add-on and it is this beautiful it's upside down 100% cashmere Burberry scarf and it is very long very heavy it's a very nice weighty cashmere it's got some frills here uh, fringes I mean <laughs> at the end here on both ends and it's just it's just so nice I love their new logo I love their new branding I think it's so beautiful the graphic of the typography and everything and I thought when I saw the colorways of this too I don't usually wear a lot of orange but I think because all of my coats are camel um, cream and black I thought this would pick up all of the basic colors that I have in my outerwear and just add a little touch of something more special I'm just so in love with the scarf I can't wait to show it to you uh, on and style it with different outerwear I really hope that you guys will like this scarf as well they are doing another version of this scarf at the moment but it's not in this thick um, jacquard fabric it's in the thinner cashmere so maybe if this is more of your style and you don't like things that are too heavy like this um, I will link it down below I don't think I'll be able to link that one just because I've looked for it for so many years and I haven't been able to find it except at the outlet so I will link some similar pieces that I really like some like statement scarf and kind of um, this type of scarf in the description box but yeah unfortunately 
um, this is the kind of piece that is quite rare at the moment and yeah I really love to kind of have something in my mind and thinking about it for so long and finally being able to treat myself to it I think it adds so much value to each item and I think this scarf is so so special so very happy about it and finally last but not least is the Burberry scarf which I have just paired with this button-up Arquette wool um, jacket with the same Cos wool skirt, some knee-high socks, and my Prada derby loafers. I think the mix and match of the gold hardware with the black and the pop of orange is just so nice. As you can see, the scarf is very big and it really brings an outfit from being quite simple to something a lot more interesting and a lot more sophisticated. So yeah, I'm really in love with the scarf. I think it's so versatile and it will go with pretty much everything I own and yeah very simple outfit but this is usually what I wear anyways something very simple yet kind of dressy and elegant I like the more preppy look and everything so hoping you like the scarf hoping you will like most of these looks and that's it guys that's all I have so far for my fall wardrobe um, as you probably know, I do have quite a bit of clothes just because of what I do So I didn't want to add too many pieces um, just for the sake of it But if you like this video um, Let me know if you want me to do a part two and part three and whenever I have like a new Batch of pieces to introduce to my wardrobe Maybe it'd be nice to do another round of this kind of video for you guys to see what I'm buying and hopefully um, a lot of pieces I'll be able to link for you guys to shop at the same time as I got them and we can all wear the same things <laughs> all over the world uh, but yeah let me know if you enjoyed that kind of video let me know which is your favorite piece and also let me know what you have on your wish list for fall um, I would love to know what items that you want the most and maybe you guys will inspire me to get new pieces as well but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed watching this and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It would mean very much to me and thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!